Welcome to the multiplication course. My name is Steve Whiteboardy and this is Building Your Multiplication Table Part 2. In the last video, we completed this portion of the multiplication table. And before we finish it, just a quick reminder that you can push the pause button at any time during the video to give yourself more time. Instead of moving directly to the 6s, 7s, and 8s, we're going to complete the chart in a different way. In this row, we can see all of the multiples of 1 from 1 through 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And in this column, we'll see the same multiples. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So on your chart, fill in 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. And again, just a quick reminder that you can pause at any point. In this row, we can see all of the multiples of 2 from 2 to 20. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. So in this column, we'll see all of the multiples of 2 from 2 to 20. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, and let's fill in 12, 14, 16, 18, and 20. Again, pause at any point. In this row, we'll see all of the multiples of 3 from 3 to 30. So in this column, we'll see all of the multiples of 3 from 3 to 30. Since the last one is 15, fill in 18, 21, 24, 27, and 30. In the next row, we can see all of the multiples of 4 from 4 to 40. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36, and 40. So in this column, we'll see all of the multiples of 4 from 4 to 40. We see 4, 8, 12, 16, and 20. So fill in 24, 28, 32, 36, and 40. In the next row, we see all of the multiples of 5 from 5 to 50. So in this column, we'll see all of the multiples of 5 from 5 to 50. We see 5, 10, 15, 20, and 25. So fill in 30, 35, 40, 45, and 50. And again, pause the video at any point. Now instead of moving to the multiples of 6, we're going to move to the multiples of 10. You can see that this already says 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So we'll complete the multiples of 10. 60, 70, 80, 90, and 100. And those are all the multiples of 10 that will be on the table. Let's also complete the multiples of 10 in this column. We see 10, 20, 30, 40, and 50. So let's fill in 60, 70, 80, and 90. Which leaves us with this group in the middle. We'll fill these in one at a time, and I'll just remind you once more to pause the video at any point. So the first product that's missing is 36. The next is 42. The next product is 48. And the next one is 54. Let's move to the next row. The first missing product is 42. The next is 49. The next missing product is 56. And the next missing product is 63. Let's move to the next row. The first missing product in the next row is 48. The next is 56. The next missing product is 64. And the last missing product in that row is 72. Let's move to the next row. The first missing product in the next row is 54. The next missing product is 63. The next missing product is 72. And the final missing product on our table is 81. Now we've completed the multiplication table. In the next video, we're going to see some very important ideas that are waiting to be discovered in this multiplication table. This is the Multiplication Course. My name is Steve Whitehorny, and this is Building Your Multiplication Table, Part 2.